or they're dependent on government. It's important that people deal with someone to make sure to prove and provide that guaranteed lifetime income. Welcome to the Retirement Architect, David Reyes. Our program is designed to not only provide insight, but to educate and to give you the tools you need to help you design and build a rock-solid retirement. The third act. Uh, There have been many revolutions over the last century, but most are not as significant as longevity, the longevity revolution. We are living an average of 34 years longer than our great-grandparents. You know, think about that for a minute. That's an entire second lifetime, an, an entire second lifespan. Um, this is David Reyes, your host here at Reyes Financial Architecture, um, AM 1210 k So I'm glad to be with you this week. Um, lots to talk about. Today I want to focus on a topic you know, I don't spend a ton of time on um, as far as exclusively giving a segment to, but I think it's time to, to revisit annuities. Um, you know, our firm is an independent registered investment advisory firm, and we deal with everything from investment planning with stocks and bonds, those types of traditional investments to annuities, real estate, um, really use a lot of different uh, investments to help to uh, not only protect capital, to grow capital, uh, but also to create income. Um, and so I want to talk about annuities, and, and I, I've done a workshop that I gave for a long time that we may do again. And it was called annuities, the good, the bad, and the ugly. And uh, so let's start with the ugly annuities first. And a lot of the bad press that, that is given to annuities is what's called variable annuities. And variable is what it says. It's variable, meaning the, the value of the annuity contract can go up and down. Um, and the problem, most of these annuities uh, have fees as high as 3 or 4%. In fact, I was analyze. We have this software that'll analyze the fees inside of an annuity, um, and it will will uh, will basically tell you what the dollar amount that you're spending per year in your cost for your annuities. And so I was reviewing an annuity. I won't mention the company, not that it matters, but it's a major uh, life insurance company, major annuity company, great company. Um, because sometimes great companies can have bad products. We work with every major carrier across the United States, so I can kind of tell you the difference. So if you sit down with me. We'll talk about these, these products, but the fee inside this annuity was about 3.96%. Uh, to give you an idea, per $100,000, that's $4,000. This client has a $500,000 annuity. Their fees, think about this, are $20,000 a year. That's the, what they are. Think how much money you need to make just to surpass that, those fees every year. I mean, your hurdle rate's 4%. So if you have $500,000, it's $20,000 of fees. You have to make over 4% to just to break even, to be ahead. So one of the things we want to look for is how do we reduce the cost, reduce the fees inside of an annuity? So variable annuities you do not want to have. I replace a ton of variable annuities. The client I met with last week, um, we replaced that annuity. Her fees went from, first off, it was not variable anymore. It was fixed. Fixed means you can't lose capital. You can't lose principal. The fees on that annuity were 0%. So we saved her $20,000 a year in fees, and we secondarily protected the principal. So those are the things that we look, look to do. Those are the bad annuities, variable annuities. So what are good annuities? Well, let's talk about income first. So b- the most of you, as I talked in the opening monologue here, is that our biggest, the biggest revolution as far as age goes, is the fact that we're living 34 years longer than our great-grandparents. And again, that's a whole other generation. That's a whole other lifespan. So the biggest concern that you have is outliving your income. The number one concern, I, I've, I sit down with hundreds of you a year through my workshops that I give, through radio show listeners. The number one concern you all have is one thing, is r- running out of money in retirement. And you should. Because most of you have plans that you're going to have problems with that. Most of you are taking income out of assets that I call that can crash, like stocks and bonds. Um, And so if you're taking income out of assets that can be very volatile, think what that does to your income. How much confidence can you have in retirement if you're concerned about the value of the portfolio that you have and, and, and the income you can derive from that? So what we do is we call, we call, we bifurcate the asset. We have, we buy income. So we're going to have certain investments for income and certain investments for growth. 
by doing that, I don't have to worry about the market for my income. I can, I can use that to grow my money, but I want to use part of my money. It can be 30%, 40%, 50%, 60% of the assets used just for income. That way we have the income we need. And I'm talking about for vacations, everything, not just to pay your bills. So we want to focus on good income annuities, fixed income annuities that can give us lifetime income. I'm writing a new book uh, with Jack Canfield called Mama's Secret Recipe on a Successful Retirement. And one of the chapters I'm writing is on increasing income annuities. Now, most of you are unfamiliar with them because if you get an annuity, typically the payout's level for the lifetime of the contract. But what if we could have our cake and eat it? What if we could have a guaranteed lifetime income and we could have increasing income as we go along in retirement? So a plan I just did for a client recently, they're a pretty large client. So they had about, they have $2 million in assets. So we took half of the assets and just used income. That was all income that they needed. And then we took the other half of the assets and we put them in a conservative growth or any portfolio that they could live with the volatility but didn't have to worry about the volatility because we're not relying on those, that asset for income. So the income asset that we created, we bought 100% of an annuity in this. So what we did is they're retiring to 65, they're currently 60. So if they wait for five years on the million dollars, they're going to get paid out 5.75% of distribution rate, which comes out to $69,495 of income, which is awesome. That, that is almost 6% of the portfolio, um, over 6% of the portfolio, and it's guaranteed for life. But what if I told you after 10 years, that same annuity was worth an income $90,000, so you got over a 25% increase in your income. That's awesome. So we always want to use increasing income annuities when we can because they, you know, we have things like healthcare costs, you know, inflation. We're, we're probably finally moving into an inflationary period. The Federal Reserve is raising interest rates. When that happens, rates go up. Typically, that coincides with inflation. So I think we have our, 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 our the producer price index, the consumer price index is touching now almost 3%. First time we've had that in a decade. So if you want to talk to me about fixed income annuities and how to have a lifetime income and have lifetime income that not only you can't outlive, but also that increases uh, in value. So give me a call at 1-800-611-1967. That's 1-800-611-1967. Or go to reyesplan.com. That's R-E-Y-E-S plan.com.